In just eight years, a quarter of Singapore's population will be aged above 65 years. And the projection is it will be three years before it becomes the fastest aging country. A little surprise then, the effort is being made to help people stay healthier for longer as they age. Enhancing the lifespan of Singaporeans by up to five years is the goal of the new NUHS Centre for Healthy Longevity at Alexandra Hospital. They're banking on results from their in-depth research into health profiles of Chinese, Malays and Indians to significantly impact longevity for Asians. Although life expectancy among Singaporeans is one of the longest in the world, most are spending about 10 of their twilight years in poor health. One and this pool. The Centre for Healthy Longevity hopes to slow the sands of time and the onset of chronic diseases. What's novel is the investment in clinical research to prolong health span for an understudied Southeast Asian population. We want to keep people healthy and disease-free as long as possible. So much of medicine these days is focused on treating you after you get sick. Our goal is to understand the aging process, intervene earlier and keep you healthy. The centre will also conduct a series of clinical studies to test nutritional supplements aimed at middle-aged adults. This will see the creation of an integrated biomarker artificial intelligence platform that will be the world's first for the Asian population. We have interventions to deliver which can be implemented into clinical practice and these can be lifestyle interventions. So think about more exercise but specific exercise based on your body needs. But these are also giving supplements to make somebody hopefully biologically younger and repurpose drugs. Technology also plays a key part in the research as Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet found out firsthand. Do I put it down? Yep. And then just relax your head. It was a pleasant surprise for him at one of the devices on display, which measures the age of your skin. It's encouraging and novel approaches like that, which has garnered fresh funding and a five million Sing dollar injection by the Lian Foundation. From high-tech scans to 3D images, this centre uses what's called biomarkers to measure the age of one's body against how old one actually is. Possible solutions to improve longevity are also being studied. Shelin Xia takes a closer look. At first glance, it may look like a gym, but what you see are actually test stations, which could shed light on how a person's organs may be faring. For example, this machine called the Age Reader is able to detect one's skin age. Using UV light, it's able to measure the amount of dysfunctional proteins in the skin. And that's something commonly associated with cardiovascular risk, like the chances of getting heart disease or stroke. There's also this device that maps 3D images of one's face onto a computer, which can estimate one's biological age. The state of a person's blood vessels can also be detected through this procedure involving a pulse being emitted. Researchers then see how fast it travels from the participant's neck to his thigh. If it's found to be too slow, it could be a sign of blockage. Using the suite of machines here, the centre is running a flagship study to analyse the health status of different demographic groups in Singapore. Over 300 participants have been recruited so far. The team hopes more will come on board so that data can be more comprehensive. What we try to do is to measure the biological age in the three major races in Singapore, the Chinese, the Malays and the Indians. And then from that, what we want to find out is really in terms of lifestyle modifications, if all of the three races are equally the same. Are there nuances in terms of their biological age? Are they expressing them very differently? I've had family members who actually had passed on and who had chronic diseases. And so that actually um, makes me want to, like, to find out what is my current health condition so that I can take preventive measures or have an early intervention. At least 10 other studies are also being carried out. They look at what affects one lifespan and how to extend it. One of the leading approach to slow down aging is to uh, look at the effect of uh, repurposing drugs as well as to use diet interventions through natural products and to look at how these interventions uh, slow down the rate of aging. The team also uses artificial intelligence to find out the optimal exercise intensity for adults in the hope of increasing their healthy life expectancy.